Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integers C1, G1, L1, which represents the cash, gold, and land of the elder brother, and C2, G2, L2, which represents the cash, gold, land of younger brother. And integer n represents the number of children of both. And we get we must get n integers as input. So these are our inputs. So if it is positive, even means it represents male child of younger brother. Then it is negative, even means female child of younger brother. Then if it is positive odd means it is male child of elder brother and negative odd means it is female child of elder brother. And the program must print the properties received by the n children as the output with precision 2. The properties are divided by cash as all children equally and gold as all females equally and female and land as all males equally. So now we'll take our first test case. So here, first we'll have four variables that is male of male child of x, then female child of x, and then male child of y, and then female child of y. So now, first we have 10, which is a positive even number. So male child of x will be incremented by 1 and then we have 1 which is, which is a positive odd. So male child of y will be incremented by 1 and then we have positive even. Then again male child of x will be incremented by 1. Then we have a negative even. So the male child of sorry female child of x will be incremented by 1. And then we have a negative odd. So female child of y will be incremented. Then we have positive even. And then we have a negative odd that is female child of y. So now we have incremented as per given input. And now for 10, we have the cash as 10,000 divided by the child of x that is 3 plus 1, 4. And then since there are they are only males there are no females so no gold will be provided and then for land you should divide all males equally so 10000 divided by total male is 3 and for the next iteration that is for next one it is a positive, sorry, uh, yeah, positive odd. So 50,000 divided by child of y, that is 1 plus 2. And then females is 0. And then for males equally, that is 1,500 by 1. And then we have again a positive even number. So the same will be repeated. And then we have minus 2, which is a negative even. So here, the 10,000 will be divided by 4. And then for females, that is, the gold will be distributed as 200 by female child is 1. So the land is 0 as there are no males. And then for minus 1, which is a negative odd, so 5,000, that is 50,000 will be divided by 3, that is 1 plus 2. And then the gold will be divided as 100 by 2, that is female child of y, and then land will be 0. So after this, we have a positive even 
so for which the same will be repeated and then we have minus 7 which is a negative odd number for this the same for the, pos the negative odd is repeated so now we are done with distributing so now we have to evaluate them up with precision of 2 so for 10 it is 2500.00 then 0, 0 0.00 and then 333.33 and for 1 it is this so now the values have been evaluated and we have got the final output now let us implement our program first we'll get our inputs so first we'll get c1 z1 l1 which represents the cash gold and the land for the younger brother and c2 g2 l2 represents for younger brother and then we'll get the n as the input and then we'll get n integers and then we have four variables called as male child of x female child of x male child of y and female child of y as zero so now we'll give our condition that is for child in children if the child mod 2 is equal to equal to 0 and the child is greater than 0 that is if it is a positive even means then male child of x will be incremented by 1 Else, if the child mod 2 is equal to equal to 0 and child is lesser than 0 that is if it is a negative even means it is the female child of x will be incremented by 1 and then if child mod 2 not equal to 0 and child greater than 0 means that is if it is a positive odd means male child of y will be incremented by 1 and in the else part the female child of y will be incremented by 1 so now we have incremented for each category based on the conditions and now we must print the values so print of so we'll specify the format that is it should be with two precision and this modulo d will represent the child number and then next we have for gold that is gold should be divided sorry cash we have that is c1 so it should but it must be divided by the total male child of x and female child of x and after this the gold must be divided with all the females so since we have no females it is zero and the land l1 must be divided by the male child of x so next we go for the female child of x so for this the land will not be there as we have only females so for gold it will be g1 divided by the female child of x and for land it is 0 and for cash it is the same thing Now we go for male child of y so here it is male child of y and here we have also here also y so here it is c2 and then we have 0 and l2 divided by male child of y so for the female child of y we have here female child of y and then here it is male child of y and then here it is g2 and here, here it is female child of y so yeah we have evaluated the values so now let us execute our program with our test case So yes, we have got the correct output.
Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.